Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from Wartime Recipes of 1942, sent in by Phoebe, we're going to be making the ham and peanut butter sandwich. And this was in a section of a book called Sandwiches for the Man on Duty. First thing we have to do is cut off a slice of bread from the loaf I made. Make our sandwich filling, we start off with chopped ham, to which we add peanut butter, salt, pepper, and vinegar. Didn't say how much on any of the last three. And then we put that onto our bread. I did not say to butter the bread. Then again, it was wartime, so butter was rationed. Which, by the way, is how margarine got a foothold. Okay, let's give this ham and peanut butter sandwich a go. First of all, the smoky ham and the nuttiness of the peanut butter are going together pretty well. And then you've got this little slight note of tanginess from the vinegar, which is interesting. Um, it did say to chop, not finely chop or mince. And these are the proportions of the sandwich. I cut it, the recipe in half. Um, I do think we can plus it up just a little bit. I figure what can go well with both ham and peanut butter? Well, probably something sweet. Which so I'm gonna use Mrs. H.S. Ball's original chutney from South Africa. It's got peaches, apricots, and chili peppers. Okay, let's give this ham and peanut butter sandwich plussed up with Mrs. H.S. Ball's chutney from South Africa a go. Mm-hmm, mm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Little bit of heat, little bit of fruitiness, a little bit of sweet. Works really well with the peanut butter and the ham. And the vinegar is still kind of there, giving a little bit of a tang to go along with the peaches and the apricot and the chutney. All right, so the original ham and peanut butter sandwich, it was a little bit dry in my opinion. Uh, it tasted fine, but just a little bit dry. I'm gonna give it a five. Plus up with the Mrs. H.S. Balls chutney from South Africa, which by the way, you can get at a world market cost plus. That's where I bought it. Um, I would probably put that at about a seven and a half. That's a good combination. It brought some moisture that was needed for the sandwich, but it worked well with the smoky ham and the peanut butter and the vinegar. So yeah, I'd say give it a go. Uh, I'm definitely gonna finish this and I'd probably make the plus up version, but I'd probably increase the amount of peanut butter used because I think that actually would be a lot better. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this one at least. All right, see you tomorrow.